How to large dice. This technique has nothing to do with the large fuzzy dice found in souped up muscle cars. It has everything to do with large diced veggies found in souped up soups. You will need a chef's knife, a cutting board, and a vegetable to cut. Step one, wash and peel the vegetable if necessary. Step two, grasp the knife in your dominant hand, holding the handle close to the blade with three fingers, your middle, ring, and pinky. Curl your forefinger around one side of the blade while holding your thumb on the opposite side. Step three, with your non-knife wielding hand, hold the vegetable firmly on the cutting board close to the area you will cut. Curl your fingers so that the tips are firmly planted on the vegetable and the knuckles point outward. In the food world, this is called the claw grip. Step four, cut off the ends of the vegetable. Step five, cut off the sides of the vegetable. It should now resemble a block with four long flat surfaces. This will make it easier to cut uniform pieces. Step six, for a large dice cut, you're aiming to make dice or cubes that are three quarters of an inch on every side. Begin by slicing the vegetable lengthwise into uniform slabs three quarters of an inch wide. Keep the point of the knife on the board and use a steady rocking motion to slice, not saw, the vegetable with the full length of the blade. Step 7. Stack the slabs on top of each other and again cut them lengthwise into 3 quarter inch wide sticks. Step 8. Line up the pile of sticks and make 3 quarter inch cross cuts along their length, creating 3 quarter inch cubes. What you do with them is up to you, but we don't recommend hanging them from your rear view mirror. Did you know? A finished large dice cut vegetable is the same size as a standard gaming die. Three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch.